Hey, Tony here. Today I'm going to tell you all of the movies that I watched during the month of May, so stick around. So I continued on during the month of May of watching at least a minimum of one movie a day, so I did watch quite a bit. Um, of course, May was a long month. I did get to see some movies in the theater. I did watch some movies that were streaming, so I thought I'd go ahead and just tell you what all I watched. So the uh, beginning of May started out continuing on with the Rocky films. So I did end up watching Rocky 3, Rocky 4, IV, Rocky 5, and Rocky Balboa. Um, I really enjoyed those Rocky films, and I was very happy that I was finally able to, to see them all again. Um, it had been a while since I revisited those, so very nice to have watched the Rocky films. Um, the next one I watched um, was The Whistle at Eaton Falls. Someone had recommended that I purchase this, so I did go ahead and get it. Um, it is an older movie. Really enjoyed it. Um, I definitely recommend you, if you, if you like the older films, I definitely recommend you check these out. Of course, you can read up more about all of these um, things that I watched on my Letterboxd account. I do have that link below. Okay, the next film that I watched was me and my wife went and saw Doctor Strange um, in the Multiverse of Madness. We saw that in the theater. We really enjoyed it. Very long film, but it was very well um, done. We really enjoyed watching it. Um, if you haven't seen it, I would highly recommend you check that out in the theater because um, to me I think it's better presented on the big screen but we did enjoy watching that okay the next film that I watched um, was uh, a film called the grudge was a film called grudge match I had never seen it before somebody recommended that I check it out um, of course it has Sylvester Stallone in it also and so I did watch that um, I did have a blu-ray copy of it I ordered it from eBay of course it came damaged so I did send it back, so I'm looking to repurchase that at a later date. Um, the next film I watched was a film called The Jackal. I had never seen this one before. Somebody had recommended that I check this one out. Really enjoyed this movie. I thought it was very well done. Like I said, it was a first time watch. Um, it does have Bruce Willis in it and Richard Gere. Um, I'm very happy to have this one added to the collection. The next film that I watched is um, another one that I've been wanting to see for a long time. It's an A24 film called Enemy with um, Jake Gyllenhaal in it. Very strange movie. It is a typical A24 film as far as something that I really enjoyed watching. Um, very unusual story. Um, a very um, abrupt ending to the film. Um, if you've never seen Enemy, I highly recommend you check that one out. Okay, the next film that I watched is I finally got around to watching Fire in the Sky. Really enjoyed this um, movie. I can, I can understand why so many people recommend this one. Um, as far as alien abduction movies go, this right here is one of the top ones that I would highly suggest you check out. I do know that we're getting a Shout Factory, Screen Factory release of this, I do believe. I think. I think it's Shout Factory or Screen Factory. So um, I watched Fire in the Sky. The next one I watched is another recommendation called Ravenous. Um, this one actually, I don't remember very much about it. Just looking at these images here on the back, I do not remember very much about this film. I don't know why. Maybe I didn't enjoy it as much as I thought I would, but I did watch Ravenous. Like I said, I don't remember anything about it. Okay, the next film I watched is called The Beta Test. It was a new release for this month, I, I believe in the month of May. Um, I watched it, did not enjoy it, um, so I ended up selling the Blu-ray because I don't care to watch it any longer. And I just don't have the space in the collection for films that I don't have any care for. So I got rid of um, The Beta Test. I may actually get that one again because as I was going before this video, I was going through my Letterboxd account. I looked at it. I'm thinking maybe that deserves another um, watch. So I may actually get the beta test. may get that one again. But one that I'm not going to get again is called Exposure. It was another new release that I got. Did not like it at all. It got one half star on Letterboxd. Um, I, did not, I did not care for that movie, so I did end up selling that one. Okay, the next film I watched was a film that was another recommendation called Appaloosa. Really enjoyed this one. Um, it is a Western. Um, 
highly recommend you check this one out if you like westerns. Great performances, a great story. So very happy to have watched that one. The next one I watched is a film called Primal Fear. It had been years since I had seen this one. I did go ahead and repurchase this. I hadn't had it in the collection for a very long time, I think. The last time I had this in the collection was either on VHS or DVD. So I did purchase this one. Very good film. I really enjoyed this one. Um, it is one of those that has a really good twist in the film. So um, Primal Fear is one of the ones that I really enjoyed watching during the month. Okay, the next one I watched was Next of Kin. It had been a while since I had seen this one, and um, someone had recommended that I check this one out again. Um, but I had seen this one. I actually saw this one in the theater back when it first was released. I remember me and my wife, we had lived in Alabama during that time, and I do remember us going to the theater to see this one, so it was nice to re-watch this one. Okay, the next one that I watched is a film called The Brotherhood. Um, this right here is an older film starring Kirk Douglas. It is a um, mafia crime boss type film. Really well done. This is one of the imprint titles that I added to the collection. So really enjoyed watching that one. The next one I watched um, was a pretty fun movie. This is another new release, I believe, during the month of May. It's called Mutant Blast. It is a trauma film. It is... Um, I had to read subtitles for this film. Um, it's one of those with a different language. I forgot it. I forgot which language it's in. Maybe Korean. Um, I, I, I really don't remember. But even reading the subtitles was good. Um, as far as watching the movie, it was a very fun movie. It did remind me a lot of something similar to Psycho Gorman, um, or some of those kind of practical um, makeup effect type films. So really enjoyed this one. I actually took it to work and let someone borrow it so that they could watch it. Okay, the next one that I watched um, is a film called Death Valley. This right here was another new release, I believe, during the month. I do try to watch these horror titles as they come in because there's so many of them. Um, Death Valley. I gave it two stars on Letterboxd. I really don't remember much about it. Um, I, I'm going to have to probably revisit this one, but I do remember giving it two stars, and um, I did not put a heart on it, so I guess I didn't like it very much. The next one I watched is a Vestron release that came out during the month, Extreme Prejudice. I really enjoyed this one. Very happy to have added this one to the collection. I had never seen this movie before. Um, I really do enjoy Nick Nolte, and it was a great um, performance. Highly recommend you check this one out if you um, like a western type film. Not even a western film, more of a action slash western type film. Okay, the next film that I watched is one called Girls Night Out. This right here was an Arrow release during the month. Um, I had never heard of this film before. Um, I had gotten this copy and purchased another variant copy of this. So I thought I might as well go ahead and open one up. So I opened this one up, watched it, really enjoyed it. Um, did a little bit of an overview video if you want to check that video out. Um, a really fun slasher, 80 slasher film. Um, it's not the best film in the world, but it wasn't terrible. Okay, the next film that I watched was on Disney+. Plus. I watched Chip and Dale um, Rescue Rangers, the, um, the reboot, I guess you would say. Really fun movie. I really enjoyed it. Very happy that I was able to take the time to watch it. Um, I definitely recommend you check it out if you like um, animation and you like Disney films and you like nostalgia. This is a good one to, to watch. So definitely check out Chippendale Rescue Rangers. Okay, then I got on the Hitchcock bandwagon. Um, I had put it off throughout the beginning of the month, but I really wanted to watch some um, Hitchcock films. So I did watch a bunch of Hitchcock films over the next few days. I watched Vertigo. First time seeing Vertigo. I really enjoyed this one. Gave it four stars and a heart on Letterboxd. If you've never seen Vertigo, definitely check it out. I really enjoyed it. Um, I had never seen The Birds all the way through, so I did watch The Birds for the first time. For some reason, every time I watched The Birds in the past, it was always in the same type of um, 
scene during the movie so I had never watched it from start to finish so I'm very happy that I actually had the full story involved with the birds really enjoyed that one the next Hitchcock film I watched was Lifeboat this is the Kino Lorber release it's one of those older Hitchcock films um, set in one location very well done very well acted I really enjoyed this film um, check out Lifeboat if you've never seen it the next one I watched is called The Trouble with Harry. This right here was a really fun um, Hitchcock film. It's got Shirley MacLaine, I believe, in her very first movie performance. Um, and a cast of other characters um, that I wasn't very familiar with other than John Forsyth from Dynasty. Um, but I really enjoyed this story. It is a... Um, it's kind of like a whodunit type film. Trying to figure out what happened with Harry. And just to have the story unravel... To, or to have the story unfold to where you can figure out what happened was really interesting. Okay, the next one that I watched is a film called Saboteur. Never seen this one before. I really enjoyed this one. Another old black and white film. Probably one of my favorites of the newer releases that they had put out of the Hitchcock films. I really enjoyed it. Highly recommend you check this one out. Another one that I watched is called Shadow of a Doubt. Another black and white film. I actually enjoyed this one more than Saboteur. Um, but it was right there up there with it. Definitely check that one out if you've never seen it. And then the next film I watched was Top Gun Maverick. We, Me and my wife went and saw that one in the theater. We really enjoyed it. Just as everybody else that I've heard from or seen online. Um, everybody pretty much enjoyed the film. Very happy that I was able to see this one with my wife in the theater. Uh, we actually saw the first Top Gun movie back in 86, 87, I think is it maybe 87. Um, saw that one in the theater together, and it was nice to be able to revisit that. Um, and it, to me, it was very well done. I actually enjoyed it probably more than the original, and I really was happy to know that they had kept a lot of the same theme, themes of it, um, the music, um, it's just a really good um, throwback to to the 80s for me, and so I really enjoyed watching Top Gun Maverick. The next film that I watched is Family Plot. Um, this right here was Hitchcock's last um, film, from what I understand. Um, I enjoyed it. It wasn't the it wasn't my favorite, um, but it wasn't terrible. It was a little weird seeing Hitchcock a Hitchcock film kind of modernized. I'm so used to seeing his films, the older black and whites, or, you know, the psychos, the birds, those type of films. So Family Plot was a little bit different, um, but it wasn't terrible. I, I enjoyed it. Okay, the next film I watched was, I watched um, The Fantastic Beast, um, The Secrets of Dumbledore. I had already seen, I, I'm a big Harry Potter fan. I really enjoy the Harry Potter films. I enjoyed the, the very first Fantastic Beast film. Um, the second one was just okay for me. It wasn't, it wasn't spectacular, but it wasn't terrible. And so I went into this newer movie thinking the same thing. It, I had some, I had, I had let people um, on Instagram and people kind of deter me from seeing this film in the theater. So when it came to HBO Max, I actually took time to watch it, and it wasn't terrible. It, it did start off a little bit slow, um, but as the film progressed, especially the the um, third act of the film, it really, um, you know, it really gave me what I wanted. So very happy to have watched it. To me, I would be okay if this was the last Fantastic Beast movie, which I think it might be. But I do think that they have planned on doing maybe two more. Um, so I'm interested in seeing where that goes. And then the final movie that I watched during the month of May is I watched The Craft. I had never seen The Craft before. I did get the 4K release. Um, someone had recommended that I check this one out. It was okay. It wasn't my favorite film. It wasn't terrible. I kind of probably had bigger expectation, higher expectations for this film. Um, but anyway, I watched The Craft. So those are the films that I watched during the month of May. Please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think about the films that I watched. Also, please give me some recommendations of films that I could watch during the month of June. Because I really do like watching films that you recommend. 
Um, those are the ones I really try to to seek after and go after to watch. So yeah, please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think I should watch next. Um, if you like what you saw here today, please give it a thumbs up and share the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I really appreciate it if you would subscribe. If you do subscribe, please remember to hit that notification bell so that you can be notified every time I upload a new video. If you haven't found me on my social media accounts, I'm on TikTok, Twitter, and on Instagram. And if you'd like to find out what I've been watching, such as what I watched during the month of May, you can find me on Letterboxd. I have all of those linked down below. But thanks, thanks again for watching, and we will see you next time.